When client devices select either the frequency or access point to use, it's typically done by the criteria of the client device's chipset. Two chipsets may have different criteria and be very close to each other, but select different bands or different APs to use. When you're dealing with a large number of clients coming into an auditorium or a convention center or even a large enterprise, you'll have multiple stations that may connect to the first AP as they come into the area and they don't roam. They've stuck on that one because their criteria for evaluating a roam hasn't been met. So they're not going to move. They're going to stay connected to that AP. And some may actually roam away or others may come into the area and not have their radios enabled until the user gets to a certain spot and settles down and then turns their radios on and they'll connect to different APs. Well, based strictly on client count, one AP may be doing a lot of work while another AP is not doing really very much at all and it's impacting the users. If you're looking at capacity, it could be the same thing. You could have some devices doing a lot of work and other APs not servicing devices that are doing very much. And it doesn't really matter about the client count. With load balancing enabled, you can choose to balance based on client count or based on capacity. To make this work, you have to have background scanning enabled. And if you've enabled uh, client admission control, that's going to turn off load balancing because it has different criteria for allowing clients to connect to an AP or not. But with load balancing enabled for the scenario we see here, we have one AP that has more stations connected than another. A new client device comes into the area and wants to connect. For whatever reason, its chipset has decided to connect to the busier access point. So it tries to authenticate and associate with the busier access point. With load balancing enabled, that AP is going to ignore those connection attempts and that station will not be able to connect to the busier of these two access points. It'll realize that, continue scanning on other channels and find the other AP. The other AP does not ignore those connection attempts and that station is allowed to connect. What this does is provides a better experience for the user, the client device and applications by allowing devices to connect with APs, they're gonna have more capacity and more airtime available to give the clients.